Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today at Bugatti Broward in Florida. Here inside the showroom, shared also by Lamborghini Broward, we have the car that lurks under the cover behind me, a completely brand new Bugatti Chiron Sport. This car has only just arrived and they've invited me today to come down to be part of the collection experience to immerse you guys into what it's like to take delivery and the handover day of a brand new Chiron. We're going to get the covers pulled back in a moment and I'm also going to run you through what's contained inside that box of goodies that comes with the car for each and every one of them. So without any further hesitation, let's get the covers pulled back to reveal to you this new Chiron Sport. Let's do this then and take a look at the car. And this, by the way, is a Chiron Sport. The Sport being the more dynamic car, a few changes, some weight saved, but it's the first one here in the USA that has the Skyview roof option. I'll show you that in a moment. It is very, very nice. The cover itself, actually, is a pretty cool way to begin. The finish of it, it also has that center line, which is emphasized throughout the car that you're going to see in a moment. But at this point, of course, I think we should probably reveal to you the color and the spec and the details. So let's give it a, a little look, I guess, a little pull of the cover up so that you can see what lies beneath. Look at this. Look at the color of this car. It's called Gris Rafale. It's a French military color, actually. Outside, it goes a little bit more gray. Inside, it's a very metallic white. It's contrasted with all the nocturne, the gloss black that you can see around. But this car, I mean, the Chiron needs little by way of an introduction in general. And here, you can start to see the roof panels for the sky view. The Chiron, of course, is Bugatti's W16 8-liter quad turbo hypercar. It's a car that has 1,500 horsepower, 1,600 newton meters of torque. It goes insanely fast. We're talking 260-something miles miles per hour at that kind of speed, it starts to become, I guess, almost irrelevant. Have a look at the whole spec. Come around the rear of the car here, a US spec car, of course, that we're looking at. As I just remove the cover, and I'll uh, place that on the floor just for a second. The spec of the car with the Chiron Sport, just quickly come and have a look at the wheels. The Chiron Sport has these new lightweight weight coarse wheels finished in Nocturne. We've got the Italian red accents with the brake calipers, for example. This is all Nocturne. The C that you have running all the way around. You can see some of the exposed carbon fiber. You can spec Chirons in many different ways. So this car's gone for the single tone in effect, as opposed to having a dual tone, the back section in a different color to the front section but the white and black gives, of course, a lot of contrast to it. Let me show you as well quickly then at the interior. Have a quick glimpse at this. Look at that. The black leather with the Italian red accents, the stitching that you can see, the satin finish for the carbon fiber, and in the central console, just in there, you also have that emblem, which is on all cars that are delivered in the 110th anniversary year of Bugatti. This being that year, in fact, and this car, I mean, just look at it, the color contrast, even here, we've even got red seat belts as well, just an additional detail. And if you have a look up towards the roof, there we've got the sky view panels, those glass openings, just to make the center of the car feel even more open and airy. But this is the Sport, as I said, it's 18 kilos lighter than the standard Chiron. You have things like, check this out, carbon fiber windshield wiper arms those every little bit to save some weight out of the car. The rest, I mean, cosmetically, in, in terms of appearance and aerodynamics, all the same as what we're familiar with. You've got the quad uh, headlights on each side that give it the, the eyes, the distinct look, the horseshoe grille. But yeah, this is a pretty special car. So let's go through that box of tricks before we take a better look, I think, around the interior as well. You might be able to just hear right now a clicking noise. The car, when it's been sat parked, of course, we've just brought it into the showroom, actually then lowers the wing. You can see the active rear air brake as it goes towards being sat down flush with the bodywork. Quite a fun thing, actually. It keeps it open for a while after you've parked to help with cooling, to help with the airflow, of course, for the engine and the exhaust going on back there as well. But to actually get to this stage, to have a physical car sat beside you, of course, you've already gone through creating the specification in this case working with Bugatti Broward to make a unique design a color a specification a livery whatever it may be and potentially even going out to Molsheim where the Bugatti factory and assembly plant is maybe even to spec it or to see it being assembled actually to do with the assembly there's something quite nice in here but this is one of the things I really really like about cars like this 
Look at the gigantic metal box that comes with every Chiron. This has the EB logo, Ettore Bugatti on the top of it. Down towards the side, you've also got the Chiron logo. It follows on from the kit that came with the Veyron, the predecessor, but inside here, a whole box of tricks. So let's explore this so I can show you exactly what lurks within. So we will open up these latches very carefully, pivot that open, where inside, as you can see, you have this rather lovely Chiron Sport box in gloss carbon fiber. At the top, you've got the uh, mounting plate actually for the front number plate and the bolts that go with that. But have a look at this. And see if you can guess already what is contained within. So gloss carbon, like the car at the side, you've got the black leather with the red stitching. Again, just like the interior. In fact, that's not the only thing. I'm just gonna put this delicately down on the carpet that we've got here so that I can show you inside have a look at that. This is your Bugatti key, the black with red stitching to match again with the interior of the car. This is actually the speed key, which flicks open. I'll show you more on how that works in a moment. And then this is the USB stick, which actually contains all of the data, your specification, and the images of the car being assembled at the plant in Mulsheim. If we just lift this out as well, Beneath it, you have the spare valet key, just sitting in there at the side. And then you have your books, your user manuals, the guidebooks, the servicing details, and a quick start book as well in here to show you how it all works. For example, here we've got the top speed mode where you can unleash the full power. So you've got that quick access information, all these lovely uh, leather document folders and books as well. So I'm being very careful with all of this naturally. Let me just pop that back in for a second. To continue in here, just to show you what else we've got underneath, we pull this out. Down below, you will spot the bag here. That's the bag for the car cover, which of course was on the car just before. And then on this side, you also have the trickle charger to keep the car uh, attached to power, of course, for the charging of the battery. But again, presented in a very, very lovely pouch. So this is all, I mean, it's like unwrapping Christmas presents, opening all of this. And then you have the beautiful box in which it will stay presented. So let me just um, think, pop this back in for the moment. Work out how to do this all very delicately and carefully. Then I will pop this back in as well. But what I might just do first is take out the key. I think we might need that. Let's go and take a look inside the car. Pop this back in too. And all of this, of course, goes to the lucky customer of the car that we're actually looking at here. This, the Bugatti key. It's very, very nice having it finished to match the exact spec of the car. Close this back up, match it down, and go check out the interior. I've also grabbed the speed key as well to show you how that works, but while I've got both of these in my hands, being the Chiron Sport, you get them in anodized black, the satin black finish, whereas normally this would be silver or aluminium, or as they would say out here, aluminum, and so would the outside, the surrounds on the actual key. And that continues onto the car as well, where you have the engine covers, those are actually also in the satin black finish. And then right down towards the rear of the car, you have the night pack, which finishes this in gloss black, where typically it would be aluminium. Of course, down here, you've got the US spec bumpers, which I'm not gonna pretend are the prettiest things in the world, unfortunately, but just below those, you do have the upgraded exhaust system, the quad round tailpipes that you have on the Chiron Sport, which we are going to be hearing in a second. So let's come through. So I'm gonna take a seat inside and quickly show you how all of these come together. So very delicately does this, just here, and actually the Chiron illumination of the lights down underneath the doors is also a very nice touch. And again, the black anodized uh, toggles and switches that you have all around. But right down here, if I can show you this, in the door arch is where you have the speed keys. Well, firstly here, home, where you can keep it. It's magnetized in, as you might've been able to tell. And then if you want to unleash the top speed, you can take it out, open the key, put it in here, and that's where you unlock the top speed, allowing you to go above the 380 kilometer per hour limiter up to a top speed of 300, uh, sorry, 420 kilometers an hour. Yes, 420 kilometers, which is 261 miles per hour. The car does, I think, 235 or so if you don't do that. So we're talking some pretty big numbers. Um, I'm gonna take a step inside. My first time sitting inside this car, dreaming that one day 
that might happen. It's a dream, it's not reality, unfortunately. But let me do this then. Very, very carefully, climbing inside the Chiron Sport. Wow, this feels incredible. Let me just show you a bit more around the interior. Come on in. Come on in, let me take this and uh, show you guys through what I'm looking at here. So the speedometer in front of me goes up to 300 miles per hour. It would go up to 500 kilometers per hour in a European or a Canadian or something spec car. You've got the two digital displays which give you a lot of information either side of that. But just have a look around. You've got the selector for the seven speed dual clutch gearbox. And this, this is a really nice touch in the central console where you have embedded inside that carbon fiber piece, this enamel emblem. 110 years of Bugatti with the French flag stripe, the blue, white and red. And looking around behind me, that illuminated C that I talked about with the cover at the very beginning of the video, flanked either side by the Skyview glass panels. A really nice add-on that's been made available for the car um, after the initial introduction. On the steering wheel, you have your toggles for the different driving modes, all anodized uh, in black. And here, one press, just to wake up the car, you can see it coming to life. The screen's engaging, the different driving modes. This is where you have your EB mode, highway, track, or to lift up the suspension. And if I was to push my foot onto the brake, we'd be able to take a listen to the start. So let me just pass out the camera so that we can enjoy the sound of this coming to life. The W16 being fired up. Turn that off for the moment. I'm going to pop open the bonnet, or the hood, as would be said out here. Take a careful step out, just to make sure that I don't damage anything while doing so. There's a small amount of space to have up front. So it's gonna become a little bit of an induction tour, almost, to show you around. But the catch is right in the middle. He says, there we go. Lift that up, and then in the front, you have a small storage area. Um, I think that's just a bracket at the moment, but you can see that you can, you can fit some some things in there and then you've got this kit actually let me show you this because this is really very very nice um, inside here I'll just give it a, open up the latches to show you inside again this is all the the tools and things that you'd expect to find inside it but then just in here if we pull that zipper around the back here we go you've got your emergency things your towing eye but even that is finished inside this absolutely lovely case with the strap that goes over the top you've got the plaque here one of 500 cars there's also that 12 volt socket that you find in the front of the car too and then this just goes back into place it's held back in with this strap what a thing everything is just so beautifully presented that's the thing with this car like i said this is completely brand new it's only just come into Bugatti Broward, the dealership part of the Warren Henry Auto Group, who invited me today to come and take a look at it, to show you a very first look. Literally, it arrived a few hours ago. It's been prepared, cleaned, and tidied up, just for us to come and explore. I had to be delicate with that. I was a bit nervous about pressing it. But that's not actually all that you get with the car. There's one other thing to show you now too, and that is this. I love these kind of things as well, how with the car, you get a presentation book to tell you all about Bugatti and the Chiron. Again, everything just finished in such a nice way. And you might notice we've now grown from two to three keys. This is the speed key for the thing that every Chiron owner needs, the Lego Technic Bugatti Chiron. I'm a bit of a Lego nerd, I love these. It doesn't actually come with the car, I will hasten to add. But nonetheless, it is, it's just cool. It's just a cool little thing. So, how about that then? A look at the Chiron here at Bugatti Broward. What a car. But on that, 
Given we are surrounded by some Lamborghinis in epic colors as part of Lamborghini Broward as well, let me take you on a quick walk around the showroom. So here we've got the Hurricane LP610 Spider in Verde Scandal, a very light and bright green, a color that I think stands out an awful lot. We've got an Aventador S Roadster, then we've got a pair of Aventador SVJ Coupes, two out of the 900 that are being made. This is Rosso Mimir, also with an interior from Ad Personum. Lamborghini's personalization department to have the red Alcantara that you can see. The SVJ, of course, the most brutal of Aventadors. Then this is a car that stands out to me a lot. This is Viola Parsifé. It's the color that looks stunning, a metallic purple with a touch of blue in the pearlescent, a color that just looks really, really nice. Of course, we have the Lamborghini Urus, tractor, the SUV, and over on this side, the new Hurricane Evo. So the updated version of the Hurricane, a few improvements brought in that were developed for the Performante. Then we've got an LP610 Spider, an LP610 as well at the front, and the Performante just here, the hardcore version of the Hurricane as well. So a very nice surrounding, really for the brand new Bugatti Chiron Sport. Well, what an opportunity to come down. A big thanks to the team here for inviting me to see this, to share it with you, to show you a little bit more about the delivery experience and what else comes with the car. I think one of my dreams is to one day be in a position to purchase a Bugatti. It's a different league. I'm lucky enough to drive some incredible cars myself, but this is really on a totally different level. It's a total step up a new kind of game-changing level. And seeing a bit more about that experience, I've visited more time the home of Bugatti, seen behind the scenes, I've seen the specification room, I've seen some of the history, and I'm aware of some of the exciting projects that are coming. Of course, you'll know about the Devo. You might have seen La Voiture Noire, the one-off, the very, very expensive car that they've made. But this, I guess for their entry-level car, is a pretty impressive thing to actually be looking at. So a huge thanks again to Bugatti Broward for inviting me today to share this car with you. I hope you enjoyed the video, seeing a bit that you might never have seen before, what's involved with the delivery, what comes along with a new Chiron Sport. So that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.